is Sarasota Bay shellfish helping our local environment and our economy? SNN's Allison Henning joins us from the newsroom tonight with more. Allison? Yes, several organizations are working to restore our Sarasota Bay shellfish population. And aside from being an important part of the food chain, these filter feeders clear up the water and might even help in creating some jobs in the Suncoast community. A, a vibrant and healthy shellfish community is part of a healthy bay. Oysters, hard clams, and bay scallops. These are just a few of the shellfish that exist in our Sarasota Bay waters. Moat Marine Lab and the Sarasota Bay Estuary Program are just a few of the organizations working to restore the Sarasota Bay shellfish population. Moat Marine Lab continues working to jumpstart the bay scallop population with its shellfish restoration initiative. Senior scientist with Moat Marine Lab Jim Coulter says the goal is to have a more productive shellfish population in Sarasota Bay. And the benefits will be there from both increasing the diversity, which was once there, and also helping to treat the water and help remove excess mater plankton materials and uh, particulates in the water column. Coulter says scallops in particular filter a lot of water. You can actually demonstrate this in the lab if you take a few scallops, put them in an aquarium, spike it with phytoplankton and make it green in color within a very short period of time that the aquarium tank will be clear. Marine science professor with Eckerd College, Bruce Barber, says there are opportunities for shellfish expansion in southwest Florida, which will ultimately create more jobs. People in the aquaculture industry producing clams, distributing clams, producing equipment and that support uh, aquaculture and, and the boating industry and everything that goes along with operating boats. So it's a really an extension of the fishing industry. As of right now, Moat is focusing on the bay scallop population, but moving forward, their restoration program might include other Sarasota Bay species as well. Allison, how would they decide which species is next? Well, the scientists I spoke with at Moat said it's about focusing on the species that they believe are on decline and need help repopulating. Okay, thanks, Allison. SNN's Allison Henning reporting from the newsroom tonight.